if we all agree that different deployments or different uh, arrangements of the optical distribution network as we call for fiber to the home exist each has its own pros and cons but in general since deploying fiber from the central office to the customer premises on a link by link individual fiber is not possible it is not simply uh, worth the investment so the overall consensus is that the passive optical network is the way to go so the passive optical network exists and it is increasingly being considered for future deployment in this module we shall quickly look at how the passive optical networks operate it would just be a recap and then we'd look at the advantages and disadvantages because when passive optical network saves us the cost it also comes with certain um, constraints and certain limitations so first of all passive optical networks are deployed as the peer to multi peer configuration it means that uh, a the central office through a single feeder fiber talks to multiple ONUs i mean one olt talks to multiple ONUs since we are talking about pon not specifically wdm pon so it is mostly based on tdm now the tdm signals are distributed through optical signals in a tree like topology a tree like topology is what we saw in the uh, passive splitter of course using such a simple mechanism has the inherent advantage that only few optical fiber cables are deployed in a certain geographical area uh, all the households which are closely placed or the adjacent to each other can can benefit from one feeder fiber and then they only need to lay the fiber from the passive splitter to the door steps that's obviously a very big advantage uh, likewise the central office equipment uh, serves uh, more than one onus so all it has to do is have a single optical interface that in a time division multiplexed manner talks to multiple onus because uh, uh, the traffic gets aggregated from the user side and it gets split from the OL, uh, olt side of course since there are countable very few active devices along the route end to end so the overall supply the main supply requirement is also limited to the end devices so no intermediate device needs to be powered this is an ad advantage because providing the mains power to an intermediate device is cumbersome so with all these advantages it looks like uh, um, the passive optical networks are slam dunk winners but uh, this may not always be true for instance the capacity of fiber optic cable um, is going to be shared amongst the number of users so it means as the number of users increase it simply means that number of onus are increasing so each additional deployment of an onu causes the bandwidth degradation from other users perspective likewise the optical fiber is carrying limited light power so it means this optical power which is coming from the olt is now split or distributed between the output ports there is a device known as uh, opto coupler so the passive opto coupler as in splitter uh, splits power uh, you can say equally to all the outgoing splits or the ports so this results in uh, lower 
power. So the signal to noise ratio as a measure would be affected. And then it has a direct bearing on the total distance that this fiber optic can provide an acceptable signal to noise ratio. So it means the overall length between the OLT and the ONU or the ONT would be limited, would be reduced. Now, there is another flip side to it <clears throat> that on the upstream, if a certain user is malicious and simply inserts a beam, a high intensity beam of uh, light that is through a laser device, uh, it would result into a continuous engagement of the um, uh, splitter because now the splitter from the ONU side to the OLT side is acting like an aggregator. So because of that, this one malicious user can disrupt the communication of other users. And lastly, since the traffic coming from the OLT downstream to the ONUs is being replicated on all the outgoing ports or the splits in the passive splitter. So it means security becomes a consideration because what a user gets is its own traffic and the traffic of all the other users. So any um, promiscuous user can actually have access to the traffic going to the other users. So some high-end security mechanisms have to be put in place as well.